Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and welcome to another episode of Watch and Learn. Today, I want to show you how to remove the crown and stems from what I'm going to call four very popular movements, at least movements in watches that are very likely to be modified, right, where you'll need to take out the crown and stems so you can get the movement out. You can replace the crystal, uh, you know, put on a, a new chapter ring, replace the dial, hands, whatever you want to do. So what, have I, what do I have? I have a 7S26. Now keep in mind that's the same movement that's in the Seiko SKX series of dive watches. Uh, so if it's a 7S26, uh, you'll, you'll know how to do it. I have a 4R30, uh, 4R36. Uh, again, basically the hand winding and hacking version of the 7S26. I'll show you how to do that one. I have one Orient. It's uh, This is a array, but the maker will be the same thing, and it's also, um, the movement's used in a whole bunch of different watches. It's the AE. Models that start with AA uh, all use the same movement. It's the day-date hacking and hand-winding version. And then lastly, I have an ETA 2824 that I use for parts, but the... Um, the stem and stem release still work, so I'll show you how to do that. And this one actually will also follow pretty much for a Salita uh, SW200. So, so much easier to do this without gloves. So, I have here uh, one of the SNK military watches, which runs on the 7S26. So, I've gone ahead and I've, I've loosened the case back already with a wrench. And now we're presented with the movement. I do want to, you know, stress that all of these watches and stuff, you know, I, I use them for parts or, or maybe for videos or whatever. So none of them are actually operating. But the parts I'm going to show you are all correct. I love the way Seiko does it. Yes, they are mass production, but they do it right. They do it so that it's almost idiot proof. The way to remove the stem, excuse me, there's a little, see this little nib sticking out right here? I'm going to see how, how much zoomage I can get on it with before it disintegrates. Oops. So that little nib is what you press and then you pull the stem out at the same time to release it. But watch what happens if I pull the stem into the day, date, and time setting position. Ready? Watch that little nib. See how it disappeared? So you can't get it out in these positions because if you did, you would mess up the watch. It's in ingenious it's very smart it's idiot proofing call it what you want so what you're going to do take the you know any kind of small tool screwdriver you know very lightly remember guys things on this scale are so fragile even though they're metallic uh you know this metal is maybe you know ten thousandths of an inch thick it's all very small stuff so force is not the name of the game here you're just going to touch it and push i'm going to try to touch it and push very slightly and then the stem's going to come right out and now you can go ahead and you can, you know, knock it over and take the movement out and do whatever you want to do, change the hands. Uh, Seiko does use this nice plastic retainer, uh, and it, it, it holds the movement in actually quite well. You have to give it a pretty good knock uh, to get the movement out, or you take a pair of tweezers or something and lift up at, at a, a decent lift point. Uh, and then to press it, to put it back in, when you go to put it back in, let me zoom back just a little bit, okay? You're obviously going to want to make sure that the movement, you put the movement in the correct way, it's straight, and that the, the tube aligns with the hole, and you'll see it's, you know, it's cut in a Y so that you can, whoops, so that, you know, it'll kind of jiggle its way in, but you want to make sure it's straight. And inserting a stem is very gentle. You're going to go in, and you're going to kind of push, and you're never going to, you're never going to force. If it's not going, you're going to jiggle it a little bit. And and eventually, it just goes right in. And how do you check that it's in? Well, first of all, that thing is still there, the nib. I can pull it out. I assume this watch works on setting. I never tried it. Yeah, you can set the, you can change the time. One click, change the day and the date. So that is the 7S26. Go ahead and put your case back back on and go about your daily business. So sticking with Seiko, we'll move on to a 4R36. Very similar movement. Um, again, case back is loose. We'll take it off. And I just want to show you, it is actually the exact same thing. I just wanted to show you the movement just so you know. I'm not going to do it again. Whoops. Um, but I'll show you what happens when you go to pull it out to set the date and the time. So there's the little nib right there. Ready? 
boom, disappears. So it's the same exact thing. You're going to press that. You're going to pull very gently on the crown. It's going to release, go about your business, and reinsert it very carefully. So your 7S26, uh, your 7S36, your 4R35, 4R36, 4R38s are all going to be uh, the same way. Let's move on to the Orient. So here I have an Orient Ray, uh, screw down crown. So uh, I guess I should have mentioned that before in the SKX, obviously. You want to unscrew the crown first if you watch as a screw down crown before you start this. Interesting to note that when you unscrew the crown, the stem really isn't moving because it's spring-loaded uh, in the crown. Um, but anyway, so you're going to, you'll unscrew it first so that it's out um, before you, because obviously you can't, you can't pull this, the crown out if it's screwed down to the stem. And let's look, I actually don't recall offhand, so I'm going to do it while we are together. And there it is. So over here, you've got a small, there's a, there is a circle right there that you will use to push down and release the stem. So what happens when you put it into time setting mode? Do you see that? How it's covered up and you cannot get to it. Let me see if I could zoom in. I don't know, no, I can't. I can't get any closer on it. Um, but if you try to do it in time setting mode, it's covered and you can't do it. So. Just like before, I am going to put in the tool, but now we're going to be very gentle because we don't want to push too hard because we don't want to upset the keyless works. And I'll tell you about that in a minute on the Etta. I'm just going to push down oh, oh so gently and it comes right out. It looks very simple. It is, again, guys, we're not dealing with, you know, high force springs. Everything here is so fragile. If you press too hard, you'll upset the keyless works, which I'll get into on the Etta. And you know what you got to do to fix that? You have to remove the hand, the dial, uh, the wheels for the day and the date, and you have to reset all the little pieces. Um, something that the novice cannot do, something that I actually do not do either. Um, so just be careful, whoops. And to put it back in, same thing, guys. So, you know, make sure the movement's nice and straight. Make sure everything is the way you want it. And then you're just going to press. Oh, you know what I want to do before? I'm sorry, I already, I already set it in that quick. Um, before I pop it in, I do want to show you what I talked about on the screw down. You see? You're not actually moving the stem. You're just depressing a spring inside. Okay? When you spin it, sure, they're connected. But when you press down, you're not moving the stem inside the movement. Okay? Which is why a lot of times when you, when you screw these stems down, you'll hear the movement still winding totally normal you're not pressing the stem further into the movement okay back to where we were so let's pretend like i didn't do this a minute ago and find where it goes and just a very is it going yeah it's going that's it i hear it winding put my finger on the back change the time one out change the day and the date and screw it down okay so we'll put the back on and then we'll move on to the edda so here so here I've got an edit 2824. Uh, it's, you know, the, 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 the date wheel is, is in the bucket with a bunch of the parts. Again, use these for parts. But it winds and can change the time. What I was talking about before about keyless works, it's all this stuff over here that connects into the stem, all these little levers and stuff. If you press too hard on the release, especially on an Etta, uh, you will knock them out of position and you'll be spending a lot of time trying to fix them. So, on the Etta, it's a little, it's in the, the same position, but what people do is, so it's right here, okay? What people do is they see a little button and they press it down, they go to pull the stem out, and they press too hard. So what Ed has done is that little button is surrounded by a slot and conveniently a like an 080 or a 100 size screwdriver won't go, will go through the slot but not too far past the button. So basically this is almost like a stop, like a drill stop. Uh, you can't press this far enough to ruin the movement. 
Anyway, to remove the stem on the Eddy, you actually need to pull it out to time setting position. You would never know it because it's not idiot proof. Um, is it 100% necessary to pull it out the time set? I actually don't think so, but I know it makes it a heck of a lot easier. Uh, again, not a watchmaker, just kind of fiddle around with stuff. So, movements in time setting position. I'm going to push my screwdriver down gently and out pops the crown. Ta da! And then, again, if we if this was actually in a watch, we do what we got, want to do. And I might need to take this out to feel it. And again, same thing. You're going to press it in. And if it's not going, you're going to, yeah, there you go. You're just going to t move it around gently. And there you go. Winding. Setting. A Salita SW200 is basically, you know, very similarly constructed. Same kind of uh, fail safe. Same kind of reset button. Um, so you'll do the same thing there. Uh, let's see. So I covered two Seikos, an Orient, and an Eta. I think, you know, that's like really popular. And, and also, as far as other methods of releasing stems and crowns, I haven't seen many others. This pretty much covers the gamut. You know, sometimes you got to hunt around for these things. But, um, you know, I really, really like what Seiko does where it's got to be in the in position to do it, else you can't find it. So, brilliant. Uh, very nice way to idiot-proof it. Anyway, this has been Mark from Long Island Watch with a Watch and Learn, showing you how to remove crowns and stems from various watches. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please, subs please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.